So, uh, so next we're going to talk about, uh, <clears throat> for those of you that have used our software for a long period of time, we've always had Monte Carlo analysis, and then we've had GeoFactor analysis, which was a separate icon and a separate function, and you had to look at the, the data independently. We've now improved our sensitivity analysis, which is why we now call it contributor analysis, and we've integrated the geofactor analysis into the uh, main run function. So when you look here, when you run your analysis, you saw I ran Monte Carlo, but you also have this button now to say, you know, run geofactor analysis. So this is basically the extra button that used to be in the toolbar, which I will show you is now gone. And then we only have one contributor analysis. So previously, you know, you had high-low mean analysis from Monte Carlo, and you had geofactor sensitivity analysis. And, you know, everyone's always questioning, well, which one should I use? Well, we took the best of both features and we combined them into one. So now you only have one um, sensitivity analysis, which is now called contributor analysis. And the <clears throat> geofactor analysis is what is our standard um, equation-based analysis for our new product, DDM. But it is supported in all of our configurations. So if I jump back over here, you'll notice now, you know, of course, I have every license DCS has. You can see from all my add-ons down here. But I do not have a geofactor button. So now I would build my model. And when I go to run an analysis, I get to say, hey, I want a Monte Carlo analysis, or I could turn that off and just say I want geofactor analysis, or I can turn them both on and get every, you know, get everything all at once. So now, again, we have a table view, but uh, now with my table view, you can see I have my data from my Monte Carlo analysis and I have my data from my geofactor analysis. And because, you know, this starts to look pretty data heavy, you can use these buttons up here and you can say, hey, I want to turn off my geofactor analysis or turn it on and turn off my Monte Carlo analysis or turn off my sensitivity analysis. So you can see, you know, you can basically define what you want in your model. But now, um, <clears throat> You'll notice that with the Monte Carlo analysis or the GeoFactor analysis, underneath the contributor analysis, which we only have one, you get your G-factor number. So this is the same, you know, for either one of these. Um, it's just used to calculate the uh, equation-based sensitivity analysis or equation-based uh, variation. Analysis. So you can see up here, if you look at my, my Monte Carlo range for the first measurement, it's 1.42, and my geofactor equation-based range is 1.47, and then the list of contributors would be the same for either one, and you get your geofactor numbers here. Now the power of this is um, I can go ahead and double-click on this measurement here, and now you can see I'm getting the data. This is a standard curve. We don't have, you know, raw data. So we're taking the estimated range at plus or minus three sigma, and we're just drawing it up here. But the, that's your range of variation. But the power of this is now that we've incorporated geofactor analysis within our main package, if you want to, you know, get worst case analysis, you can, um, well, I'll just go ahead and uh, go into this measurement. And from here, I'm gonna go to views, options. And now you can see we have min, max, range, worst case. And so you can turn those on and then you get, uh, you, you can see my estimated range is 1.47. My worst case range is 4.04. .04. And then my 
Worst case low is minus 0.21. It's crashing, but it didn't crash you know, statistically. So by incorporating by incorporating this, you can now look at all of your data um, at once. So this is basically what I would consider still part of the table view and combining data, but uh, that is, you know, one of the next enhancements.